Ever since I was a kid, I've wanted a handheld computer communicator sensor device, like the tricorders on Star Trek The Next Generation. And while smartphones have done a good job on the computing and communicating ends of that spectrum, they've left something to be desired on the sensor front. Until now. I'm Michael Fisher with Pocket Now, and this is a quick look at the Seek Thermal Camera for Android smartphones. Somebody's going to say it, so I'll say it first. This isn't the most timely video. In fact, the hardware I'm working with here is last generation. But I asked to borrow one, they sent me one to borrow, and it was just too cool not to do. So if there's enough interest in a follow-up, I'm happy to ask for the new Seek Thermal XR. Let us know in the comments whether you'd be stoked for such a thing. The Seek Thermal hardware is a tiny peripheral that comes in both Android and iPhone compatible versions. Ours is the former. It comes in a waterproof carrying case and plugs into your smartphone using micro USB. Unfortunately, that means if your phone uses an unconventional location or orientation for its USB port, you're going to be in for a weird time, as it'll be pointing right at you. Fortunately, there are adapters available to fix this. If you've got a Galaxy S6, say, or a Moto X, you're good to go. Plug the camera in, download the Seek Thermal app from the Play Store, and the next thing you know, you're seeing the world through the eyes of a T800 or a TR590. If you get either of those jokes, you can be my friend. The Seek Thermal viewfinder is a lot like that of a typical smartphone shooter. The picture dominates the screen, with the shutter release and toggles for camcorder, gallery, and shooting mode select down below. The picture itself is just what you'd expect, a false color representation of the thermal spectrum within the camera's 36-degree field of view. Wander around taking thermal pictures, and you can hear the hardware quietly clicking away as it automatically recalibrates. In addition to the simple color map, you can also set the camera to constantly display the temperature around the center of the frame, or show the extreme highs and lows in a shot, or show only temperatures above a certain threshold. Yes, you can choose Celsius or even Kelvin, if you like. This makes it a pretty good stand-in for a dedicated thermometer in a pinch, but the Seek Thermal didn't always agree with our in-house infrared thermometer. So if it's absolute precision you need, well, to be honest, I didn't have a third thermometer to cross-check, so you may want to do some calibration yourself. There's also a dual camera mode that displays both thermal and visual outputs in the same frame. Sadly, because the Seek lens will be so far away from the standard camera on most phones, you're going to run into aspect problems with close-up shots, making this more novelty than anything. To be sure, there are plenty of practical uses around the house, like determining if your coffee is too hot to drink or your seltzer is close to freezing, seeing what's running hot in your home entertainment system, or determining just how warm your smartphone gets when it's on the charger. But being able to see beyond the visual spectrum also opens up your perspective in a very cool way. I mean, there's the obvious. If you think a camera flash makes your cat's laser eyes creepy, check her out in infrared. And yes, you can see in the dark, as you can see here in this pitch black bathroom. Go beyond that, and you start to learn some cool lessons about the world around you. For instance, glass windows reflect IR even when it's too bright outside to see a visual reflection with your eyeball. Your invisible shadow is still bouncing off the glass and can be seen by the Seek. Your thermal signature stretches back in time, too. Look how much heat is left on a chair after you get up from it. Ever wonder how hot a candle flame gets? How about the water heater and furnace in your basement? And if it's just cool photos or videos you're looking for, toss something in the freezer for a while, then bring it out into the world to make some crazy infrared artwork. You're limited only by your imagination, and you can share your creations on Seek's dedicated social community. To be sure, there are limitations here. Exported photos are only about half a megapixel in resolution, and they're watermarked by default. Fortunately, you can turn this off in the settings. Also, the camera takes its power from your phone battery, so you'll want to watch your power consumption. Finally, even this last-gen hardware comes in at $249. While it's understandable, given how much tech there is in such a tiny package, it's still pretty steep for an accessory. That said, it's an accessory that brings my smartphone a little bit closer to being the tricorder I've always wanted. It's reawakened some long-forgotten lessons about heat exchange, and it's let me see the world in a new way. Whether that's worth the price tag will be up to you to decide. Personally, I'd wait for the price to come down before snatching one up for myself. But if you're looking for thermal imaging on Android, it's pretty much the only game in town, at least at this size. And, yeah, I'm gonna say it, I think it's pretty hot. Waka waka.
Let us know how you'd use the Seek Thermal Camera. Drop a comment below and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Till next time, this has been Michael Fisher with Pocket Now, Captain Two Phones on Twitter, and I'm hot blooded. Check it and see. I've got a fever of 103. All right, that's enough. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.